Now, if you follow my channel, you know I recently reviewed the Dell XPS 13 9310 with a gorgeous, stunning 3.5K OLED display. But I wanted something with a little bit of a bigger display with more screen real estate, but with that same type of OLED display. So I was glad when Dell announced the all new Dell XPS 15 9510 with that OLED display also available in the Arctic white. And I gotta say, the thing has been spectacular so far. I took delivery of it yesterday, and this is going to be my personal laptop and daily driver that I'm gonna use for the rest of this year. Now I ordered it with the Core i9 11 Gen processor, the 8 series processor, paired with that NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti GPU. Now let's find out if this all comes together to make this the perfect laptop. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is my unboxing and first look review of the all new Dell XPS 15 9510 with that stunning OLED display. Coming up. And as we take a look at the specs in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Dell is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this unit was purchased with my own money. This will be my daily driver, so to speak, my personal laptop. But I do anticipate getting a review unit from Dell of not only the XPS 15 9510, but also the newly announced Dell XPS 17 9710 very soon. So stay tuned on that. Pricing starts at $1,949.99. Now my unit, the way that I configured it, comes in at $2,969.60. That's inclusive of tax here in the state of Nevada. Now I ordered this on June 30th, 2021. They anticipated a ship date of July 23rd with a received date of July 28th, 2021. I actually got it on July 9th. A nice job by Dell in that department. And with specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Packaging is once again very high end and very premium and we get a white box to match the white finish on this particular laptop. Nice. Lifting the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself. We'll get to that of course in just a little bit, but first let's find out what else you get inside the box. You get some documentation and warranty information as well. Now, you also get an adapter that has a USB-A port and an HDMI port. You're going to need that as we'll take a look at the ports in just a moment. Now, this connects via USB-C as far as that adapter is concerned. Now, they do give you a 130-watt power adapter that is white, that matches the finish. I like that. And they also give you a white extension cord as well. Now, holding the unit for the first time, I am just blown away once again by this Arctic white finish with the frost interior. And I got to say, this is very similar, almost identical, of course, to its smaller sibling, the XPS 13 9310 with the OLED display that I recently took a look at. I'll leave a link in the description below for those that didn't check it out. But this is one beautifully crafted, well-built laptop, that's for sure. And at 4.31 pounds or 1.96 kilograms for the OLED model with the 86 watt hour battery, which is what I have here, definitely pretty compact and portable for a 15 inch laptop. And it's easy to take with you on the go. It's a great general purpose laptop in that regard. Okay, let's check out the port selection. We're going to start off on the left side. We get one Kensington lock port and two Thunderbolt 4 ports that do data charge and display out. Moving over to the right side, you get one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, a full-size SD card reader, and finally a 3.5 millimeter headset jack to round out the ports on this laptop. Notably missing no USB-A port, no HDMI port, and that's why you're going to need the included adapter that gives you those missing ports. Okay, let's talk about getting inside this laptop for user upgradability, and it's pretty easy. All you need to do is remove the T5 Torx screws, pop off the bottom plate, and you're in. Now, once inside, you'll notice the two fans for cooling with the heat sinks, and of course, I will check out all the thermals and everything in my upcoming full review. Now, you'll also notice that this has the bigger 86-watt-hour battery. They also offer this with a 56-watt-hour battery, but I would recommend going with the bigger battery if you can, obviously, for more longevity. We'll talk about battery life in the upcoming full review as well. 
Now, there are two SODOM slots for you to upgrade the RAM. This can support up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 dual channel RAM that runs at 32 megahertz. Now, my unit has 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I like the ability to upgrade it down the road should my needs expand. Now there are two SSD slots for you to expand out the storage. Now I went with 512 gigabytes of SSD storage because I could always upgrade it myself to save a little bit of money down the road. So that is something I recommend. Why spend it now when you could do it yourself later, save a few bucks. I think that's the way to go. Now having said that, this can support up to eight terabytes in total storage of two four terabyte SSDs. And as you can see, my initial testing of the included SSD drive gives you some very good reads and writes. As you can see from these results. Now, as far as the Wi-Fi is concerned, it has Killer Wi-Fi 6, AX1650, and Bluetooth 5.1. Now, unfortunately, the Wi-Fi card is soldered into the motherboard. You won't be able to upgrade it down the road, but so far, I'm seeing good results from the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. No issues from that so far. I'll let you know more in my full review. Okay, let's talk about that display, which is a pretty big deal, as I will show you in just a moment. But what we're looking at here is a 15.6 inch 3.5K display with a resolution of 3456 by 2160. And yes, that means this has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which I am a big fan of. And it has all the hallmarks of an OLED display, the really deep blacks, the extreme high contrast, and the really vibrant colors that just seem to pop off the display. It is absolutely gorgeous. And when I measured the display for the first time last night, I had to do a double take. Why? Because this had 100% across the board. I have never seen that before on a display, giving you perfect coverage of the color gamut, making this the content creator's dream. And with the amazing Delta E score of 0.78, making this an extremely color accurate display as well. Again, this might just be the perfect display for the content creator. I'll talk more about this in the upcoming full review. And of course, this Infinity Edge touch display has some really small bezels. In fact, it gives it off that really sleek and modern look paired with that really nice white finish on this laptop makes this one sleek modern looking laptop. I absolutely love it. And this being an HDR Dolby Vision display, you're going to take advantage of high dynamic range content. Watching Netflix, Amazon and YouTube has been spectacular on this laptop. Now, Dell claims that this laptop will get up to 400 nits in terms of brightness, not quite as bright as the IPS display, which can get as bright as 500 nits or maybe even more, as we saw in previous iterations. But I measured 402 nits, exceeding the 400 nits claimed by Dell. Another good job by Dell in optimizing this display. Bottom line, this just might be the best display I've ever seen. And that is saying a lot, ladies and gentlemen. And despite the small bezels on that Infinity Edge display, the top bezel is able to house an infrared webcam that supports Windows Hello. Let's take a look and a listen at it. So this is the front-facing camera on the brand new Dell XPS 15 9510 here for 2021. The OLED display in Arctic White. This thing is amazing. The display is amazing. What is not amazing is this 720p webcam once again, not very good. It is an infrared webcam. That means you can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. But as far as quality, not very good. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about the video quality as well as the internal mics? How does it sound? Let me know in the comment section below. And the power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Another way to log in. It worked well, very fast and very responsive. And for those wondering, yes, you can open the lid with one finger. Well engineered once again in terms of the hinge. Now let's talk about that keyboard because so far I'm absolutely loving it. This is an improved keyboard that we saw in the last iteration and it's carried over into this new version. And I gotta say really nice tactile feedback, good key travel and very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time so far in the initial use I've had with it 24 hours. Now it does have a multi-stage backlight which allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment but the white led light on the white keys makes it hard to differentiate in certain lighting conditions something to be aware of and as far as that glass precision touchpad is concerned i'm happy to report that my unit doesn't have any of the issues that plagued last year's models such as the loose touchpad or even the inadvertent clicks none of that is present on my model now having said that two finger scrolling is buttery smooth and all the windows gestures work as you'd expect everything working perfectly so far as far as that touchpad is concerned i like its size i like its responsiveness 
And one of the other things I really love about this laptop is its sound. Its speakers are really good. There are quad speakers, there are two woofers and two tweeters for a total of eight watts of power that really fill up a room rather nicely with good mids, good bass, and overall good sound. Good job on that front, Dell. We'll talk more about that in the upcoming full review. Now, my unit is running the 11th gen Intel Core i9-11900H, which is a 8-core, 16-thread processor, which is performing really well with these initial benchmarks. You can see the multi-core score and the single-core score are very good. As far as the graphics are concerned, we're looking at the NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti. And as you can see from the results, my initial results here, working really well. Gaming is not going to be an issue on this. We're going to be able to do video editing in Premiere Pro. I'll cover all that in my upcoming full review but so far performance 24 hours in is looking good but of course there's a lot more testing to do in terms of the thermals the battery life and everything else that will be coming very soon so stay tuned for that Okay, let's wrap it all up. What do I think 24 hours in of the Dell XPS 15 9510 with that gorgeous OLED display? And yes, that is a really gorgeous OLED display with an amazing coverage of the color gamut. We'll get into that more in the upcoming review. But I got to say, this display is simply stunning. I like its elegant and sleek design, especially this white finish. I really, really do like it so far. I like the responsive keyboard and touchpad. It's all working well. 16 to 10 aspect ratio which i'm a big fan of i like the performance out of the 11th gen core i9 8 series processor from intel the nvidia rtx 3050 ti as far as the graphics is looking good so far upgradable ram and ssd you of course know i love the impressive speakers are really blowing me away i'm really liking the sound coming out of this negative so far no USB A port although you do get the adapter which has not only the USB A but also the hdmi the wireless lan is not user upgradable and there's no webcam shutter but there are no real deal breakers here ladies and gentlemen i am absolutely loving the dell xps 15 9510 with its absolutely stunning oled display i have a lot more on this coming up so stay tuned you don't want to miss it So what do you think about this bad boy, the XPS 15 9510 in this uh, white finish? This is the Arctic white. It's got that carbon woven glass interior. Absolutely gorgeous. Shows less fingerprints, of course, than the black variant of that carbon fiber deck in the other models. But what I got to say so far, I am absolutely loving this display, loving the look of this laptop. It's a light laptop, a little bit over four pounds, but definitely portable enough to take with you on the go. It's got the 86 watt hour battery. I still need to test that. I still need to test thermals. But so far, this is looking like a winner. And I'm glad I chose this as my daily driver. But of course, the proof is always in the pudding in the final numbers. I will bring you all of that and more upcoming in my full review. So stay tuned for that. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.